Hey guys, it's Wargamer11 here, bringing you a fast as possible episode showing you how to install the FDB mod pack launcher in less than 3 minutes and 30 seconds. Stay tuned to see me do it. After all, this is as fast as possible episode. Let's jump right into it and jump the gun and jump right into it in Inner Explorer. In my case, Google Chrome. So open up your window browser of choice. In this case, I'm using Google Chrome. Go to feed-the-beast.com. There'll be a link in the description below, which you can just click and it'll pop up you right there. So next, once you're on the website, you want to scroll on down and then to think to yourself, hmm, am I running a Windows, Mac, or Linux-based computer? If you're running Windows, go ahead and click on the download exe file. If you're running a jar or if you're running a Linux base, go ahead and download the uh, the jar file or same thing works for Apple. And I think the download app, I believe that's for Apple. I'm not 100% sure. This is new as in just like now. I've never seen this before, even before my pre-takes. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So once you have that downloaded, I already have it downloaded here. Make sure you save it to your desktop. Then you want to create yourself a folder called FTB or abbreviation FTB. You want to go ahead and drag and drop that into the folder. And this, play, this way, all the mod packs that you download will automatically be saved into this folder, making it nice and easy to move your stuff around as needed. So you just double click on the FT, FTB launcher, click the run button, and it's going to go ahead and create the console, downloading pack data. No, I don't want to update right now because I'm in the middle of a video, and boom, you're all done. Now, as you see here, there's some new stuff, some options, some mod packs, third party packs, maps and textures. You know, you're going to wonder, oh, what do I do now, Wargamer11? Well, I'll tell you what to do. I'm going to go ahead and read through out these mod packs. The first one is normally the most popular one in the whole entire launcher, as that goes for like here. Uh, also, new ones pop out at the top too. So here we have the Token Craft 2, Running Red 2, the Dark Trilogy, Crash Landing, and Agrarian Skies. If you guys have not seen my Agrarian Skies series, click the annotation in the video now to go check it out. It's pretty cool. Now, before you can even you know, use the Argarian Skies mod pack, you have to go ahead and create yourself a profile. Much like the, um, what's it called, the Technic Launcher or the Alt Launcher, you want to go ahead and use your username or your email address. In this case, I'll just type mine in right now. You want to go ahead and type in your, e uh, your password for your Mojang account. And then you want to go ahead and either leave the profile name the same, or in my case, I'm going to go ahead and rename it. Renaming the profile does not do anything to the login information. So make sure I want to do remember password and remember authorization token. If you click the un, if you just click this here, then you don't need to type in the password because I wanted to remember my password. We're just going to do it like that. The only difference is you have to either add your password or remove it. It's really good if you have more than one person using the computer and you don't want them using your Minecraft account. Click add, click launch. It's going to go ahead and say successfully created something or another something. It's going to go ahead and start loading. If you don't do it right, you're going to end up with a message that says, oh, password's wrong, try again. And then you just go in there, you click the edit, you re-edit it, and you're all good to go. And there you go, guys. This is a fast as possible in under 3 minutes and 30 seconds on how to install and get running the FTB mod pack launcher. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give it a thumbs down. If your ratings are a little bit more complicated than a thumbs up, thumbs down, go ahead and let me know in the comments below what you think of this video. Share this video with all your friends if they don't know how to install the FDB launcher. Go ahead and share this video with them via Facebook, Twitter, any social media websites. Don't forget to check out the description below for all the cool videos. Don't forget to stay to the end of the video and check out a few cool either previous or next of the fastest possible series. Until next time, this has been the Wargame 11. See you guys next time. Peace.